Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Akko was nice enough to send me their V3 cream switches to review. These switches have made quite the impression on reviewers over the last couple of months, and for good reason. They're very reasonably priced and offer great typing experiences. Full disclosure, Akko did send me these switches for free to review, but as always, all opinions will be my own. You'll find links to both of these switches in the description if you want to purchase some for yourself. Remember to subscribe to help my channel grow and consider joining my Patreon to help support me directly. Also, I'm now on TikTok. Follow me there for bite-sized versions of my videos. The Akko V3 cream switches come in two varieties, blue and yellow. Both are priced the same at just $8.99 for 45 switches. That's just 20 cents per switch, putting them in the budget category in terms of cost effectiveness. The main difference between the two is that the blue is tactile and the yellow is linear. Both switches are long pole. This means that the stem pole is long enough to hit the bottom housing when the switch is pressed. As a result, the total travel distance is reduced slightly, and the stem will stick out of the top just a little bit. This can actually help if you have issues with keycap interference. But the main benefit of long pull is that it gives the switch a much more pronounced sound and solid bottom out. It is worth noting that the keyboard hobby is all about preference, and some people might find long pull switches to sound harsh. But if you're looking for a really defined sound, you're probably going to enjoy them. Let's take a look at the stats of the blue switch. Again, these switches are tactile and in my opinion, have a very impressive feel to them. They're very poppy and creamy and the resulting feeling is so nice to type on. Honestly, they impress me so much, I'm considering using them for an upcoming build. I definitely prefer them over the Drop Holy Panda X's that I'm currently using, and those cost way more than these do. The operating force of the Cream Blues is 38 grams, and the bottom out is 53 grams. Again, due to the long pull stem, the travel distance is a bit short at 3.5 millimeters. It's perfectly fine to use these switches stock, and I would recommend only light lubing at most. In order to preserve the tactile feel as much as possible, I would skip lubing the stems at all, and only lube the springs and bottom housings. By avoiding the stems, the unique poppy tactile feeling of these switches will not be changed, while still giving you most of the benefits of lube. The performance of these switches is unbelievable for the price, and are on par with other premium options. In fact, I think they're so good and so budget friendly, I would recommend all keyboard enthusiasts pick up a pack or two and try them for yourselves. For real, they're only $9 for 45, and I like them better than switches that cost 5 times as much. If you're part of this keyboard hobby and have an extra $10 or $20, seriously buy these switches just to try. Even if you don't end up liking them, they're so relatively cheap it doesn't even matter. After coming off a great review of the blue switches, you linear fans out there are probably going to be disappointed with what I have to say about the yellows. I didn't enjoy these at all. Before I get into it, I'll quickly go over the stats. The operating force is 50 grams and the bottom out is 58 grams. The travel distance is the same as the blues at 3.5 millimeters. Their biggest flaw is that they have a very noticeable amount of scratch to them while stock. So if you're thinking of picking these up, you're going to have to lube them. I only lightly lubed the stems and springs, and I hate to say it, but it wasn't enough. These switches are going to need the full hand lubing treatment of stems, housings, and springs if you want to get the most out of them. I would only recommend these as an alternative to other budget friendly linears. Again, an alternative, not a replacement. I didn't think they were unique enough to recommend them any more than that. They still have the benefit of being long pull, so at least they have that going for them. If you're looking for specifically a budget long pull linear, you can consider these. Before we listen to the sound test, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my TikTok too.